Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm going to be talking about something a little different. I'm going to be talking about a little uh, application that I've been using uh, quite a lot lately to play some of the people in the uh, Discord. Uh, it's called Fightcade. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Fightcade is kind of like uh, an online platform for challenging players uh, in arcade games. It's kind, of, it's kind of a very interesting piece of software. It's mainly used for fighting games. Uh, so, you know, if you want to play some other players, uh, and maybe in Street Fighter 2 or Street Fighter 3, primarily that's what it seems Fightcade's most popular for, is um, it's got a huge community that loves to play Third Strike against each other, and it's really cool. Um, yeah, that's that's what Fightcade basically is. It's basically a way for you to play other players in arcade games, um, primarily focused in fighting games, of course. So, yeah, it's built, up, it's built upon uh, GGPO. Those of you who don't know, GGPO is kind of like a middleware that a lot of fighting games use. Uh, G the uh, purpose of GGPO is to provide kind of a lag-free uh, experience um, when playing um, high ping online matches. Um, <clears throat> and I actually say GGPO works pretty damn good. Um, I was playing, in, in the footage that I show later in this video, I was playing against someone, uh, Soxa, from the uh, Discord. And, uh, you know, he uses, he's in Germany. And, um, you know, I'm on United States East Coast, so, like, totally, totally far apart, you know what I mean? And yet the experience was really smooth and, like, no hitches at all, and our experience was just really good. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the website a little bit, show you guys the website a little bit. Uh, so you go to the website here. Um, it is, you, ha you, can, you have to register in order to actually start, like, playing against other players. Um, and when you make an account... You have all kinds of interesting statistics here, like uh, when you make an account, it tells you you know member since total hours, your last games that you played, um, and interestingly enough, you also can see like replays and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, anyway, so going back to the main website here, all you really do is you register, then you can download. Uh, the download is available. It, uh, Fightcade is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, it should be noted that the Windows version, uh, Fightcade uses an emulator called Final Burn Alpha, which isn't natively available for Linux. Um, so, the thing about the Linux version is, uh, it says Linux compatible, but all it really is is like Fightcade is written in Python. The GUI for Python, or the, the GUI for Fightcade is written in Python, so it's kind of just cross-platform. So, the GUI works on Linux, but when it actually starts the emulator, it uses Wine to execute it because it is a window, the emulator itself is a Windows application. So, you will need Wine in order to actually use Fightcade, which is kind of crappy, um, but it there's a few couple, it's kind of a long story about why they're using Final Burn Alpha, um, basically because it the version they're using is kind of a forked version which supports GGPO um, and adding that in the main would kind of be a mess but anyway yeah so all you really need is you just need to download the client register and then once you've got that all out of the way then you can actually like the next step is to get the ROMs um, but we're gonna get, get in that to a little bit there's also replays here which are basically like demos if you've ever played like if you've ever used a demo function in Quake or Counter-Strike Replays is basically the same thing. It's just kind of replays from matches here. You can just click replay ID and then it'll launch Fightcade and start playing it. Um, but anyway, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, Fightcade here just to show you what it is. And once again, Fightcade's just kind of a uh, GUI written in Python when you first launch it. Ask you to log in. And uh, the purpose of it is, like I said, is you just you have the game list here on the left side. Uh, all the ones that aren't highlighted or ROMs I don't have. Um, if you look in the Fightcade, uh, let me actually uh, increase this. But you have a um, a ROMs folder, and that's where you put all your ROMs. So yeah. So in this particular instance, like I have Goro and a few other games. So yeah, you just kind of click on a game, and then you can see who's all online actually playing that game and then you can double click on them and challenge them and then if they accept it it opens up the emulator and then you two start playing against each other it really is that simple um, like for instance if we go to Garo here I think there's quite a few people that play Garo not much I have myself set to online here so that way no one can challenge me there's also an emoji keyboard which is weird 
Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to like King of Fighters 98. It's pretty popular here as well. But yeah, basically you just get the ROMs. You put them in the ROM folder. If you need the ROM name, it's up here. When you click on a game, it gives you the ROM name up there. Uh, but like I said, probably the most popular game, especially because there was a tournament at the time I made this video. It was recently a tournament. Um, King of Fighter or Street Fighter Third Strike is like really popular, as you can see. A lot of American players. Um, just really, really popular. <laughs> and yeah, so you just click on the game here, double click on a person, and they accept the challenge, and they, you can also get challenged yourself. Um, if you're set, if you're not set to a way like I am, and you have some, you have some settings here. Like you can change the theme. Um, smoothing input lag is where you would actually adjust. Basically, you would put uh, this setting kind of like depending on how bad the connection is. For my instance, I have it set to five. Uh, when I'm playing Sox, I believe he has a 180 ping, and setting it to five kind of smooth things out and actually makes it pretty enjoyable. You can change the fonts here. All kinds of other crap. Uh, I think I'm gonna show my flag in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess you do that as well, so that way you don't have to worry about seeing all those list of games. Uh, you can also change the challenge sound here. Uh, challenge sound. So when someone challenges you, let's play a noise here. It might be quite light, loud. Okay, that was quite loud. <laughs> but yeah, you can change the sound that plays, and you can also do your own custom challenge sound. Just anything that, as long as it's a dot wave, and then you could also mute it. Um, so I'm gonna play another one, but this time I'm gonna actually turn the audio down so that way it doesn't blow out everyone's ears. Um, let's play this one. Now, find a new rifle. So you have like challenge sounds for a bunch of like a bunch of famous uh, challenge sounds, which is pretty nice. But anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to some footage of me and Sox uh, playing against each other using Fight Kate. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Alright. But the Amazon is saying my stick should have wiped tomorrow. And it was shipped today. I don't believe it will wipe tomorrow. Oh. oh that's right, yeah, you already ordered it, huh? Yeah. Nice. You, how are you gonna print out the custom artwork? Do you know a company that'll do it? Uh, not yet, but I mean, any print shop should do it. Yeah, any print shop should do it, and there's probably online sets too. I mean, some of them don't print out like uh, copyrighted artwork or whatever, but you could usually get around that if it's like fan art. I mean, it is or if, copyrighted. Yeah, or if they have no idea what it is, you know what I mean? Then they probably don't probably want to know it's copyrighted. Actually, the art I have uh, is fan art, but it really copies the original style of the artist that does the official art. Yeah, I mean, you could always just email the like if you could find the person who made it, you could just email them and get like a confirmation email. That's usually good enough for them. Yeah. <laughs> I already forgot like all my combos. I think that's one, one, one. Oh wow, that actually hit. Oh wow, the, ju the lucky juggle there. I'm doing bad today. Yeah, well, like, I'm doing pretty bad too, actually. Like, I'm missing a lot of stuff. You know, honestly, I, think, like, I feel like the second special is better for me. Because I can't combo into the first one. <laughs> the second one I can spam at least. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it really, just use whatever you feel comfortable with. I use Corkscrew Bow because I think it's the best one. Like, I tend to do best with it. Damn it, I thought I saw you move. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I missed my grab. Good shit.
Finally. Oh, oh wow. I thought you'd go in. Yeah. That was close. Maybe when I use that move, I try to stay at range so that way you can't run the shit. When they're goofing around. Oh. Damn it. That doesn't hit, does it? <laughs> oh, I tried a neutral jump and I almost did it. Oh, right. I won the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I was already spending start. Ouch. Oh, try to do something a little tricky there. Damn it. Yes! Yeah, I don't know there why. Yeah, I went for a crouching high kick there for some reason. 